Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be doing 5 tips and tricks to get better at Murder Mystery 2 if you're the innocent. So please like and subscribe, share this video to your friends, and leave a comment down below what you want to see in the next video. So tip 1, don't be in first person. First person is not your friend. Right there, if I was in first person, I probably wouldn't see him. But in that I'm not first person, I can peek around corners and see that he is just around the corner trying to get me. And obviously, he's probably going to try and throw a knife me or just melee stab me. But I juked him. Everything was fine. He's throwing knives out. He's probably going to come around there. But if I was first person, all I'd see is that. I wouldn't be able to see him jumping around, throwing knives at me. i just see that wall, and I wouldn't be able to do anything. So obviously the fact that I was not in first person saved me a lot of trouble. Okay, tip two. If you're in open areas, don't be in them. Simple as that. But however... You need to stay around the sheriff. Now here's why. So, okay, this guy's obviously being stupid and he's waving the gun around. I'm gonna hang around him because I'm innocent. So say that I think she might be the murderer, but however, she may not be. You never know. But I'm gonna try and stay, try my best and stay around him, but not too close. See, if you're too close to the sheriff, the murderer cannot easily get you. Very easily. Because obviously you're right near the sheriff. And the murderer definitely, if if you don't already do this, often tends to target the sheriff because it's only this it's a smart move because, well, the sheriff is the only thing that can stop you. Someone died, and I think it's the Xbox player. I think I didn't get a good look. Oh, yep. I th yep, you're the murderer. Oh, wait, no. No? No, it wasn't you. Yep, it's the Xbox player. Okay, so we now know what the murderer looks like. Now, I could be a snitch and just rat him out. But I don't think I'm going to do that for the sake of this video because I want to see what happens. Obviously, he's right there. The sheriff almost shot me. That's not good. Don't shoot innocents if you're sheriff. This guy's dumb. He thinks I'm the murderer, probably. But I'm just gonna go over here and do like a normal innocent and collect coins. So I can get boxes and stuff. So I do need to see where the murderer is and where the sheriff is. Because, you know, I want to have the chance to be able to get the gun and possibly stop the murderer if the sheriff fails. So the sheriff has failed. And he seems to be camping. Yep. I'm just gonna try and get him to do a throwing knife. Come on, throw a knife. Yep, throwing knife. Ah, oh, dang it. But you can see where staying near the sheriff can help you. Obviously, I wasn't near the sheriff immediately when it happened, and that that's probably the difference why I didn't win or lose. Okay, so tip three is stay in open areas. So what I mean by stay in open areas is stay in open areas where you can jump around a lot. So see these vents? I mean, these are not normal vents compared to the regular maps, but this, you know, you can see... There's obviously room to jump around in, but the other other vents, there's not that much room to jump around in and move around a lot. See, in that area, it's not very tight, and I was able to unfortunately get stabbed a lot. But, here's an example. So say this was like the outdoor area of Millbase, one of my favorite maps. And that was the murderer. The murderer wanted to come after me. Like, say I was over here they would want they come after me i would have plenty of time 
to you know juke juke them out and dodge them and if the gun's down try and get it and possibly even take out the murderer so i'm gonna see you guys all in the fourth tip okay so tip four is choose your map wisely so right here is where you can vote for your maps vote on a map like house 2 where there's open areas a lot of open areas in fact I cannot stress that enough because if you get put into a tight area you're gonna get you're just gonna get cramped in and you're just gonna fail a lot you see this map right here you can go around there's this main hallway area where you can juke around in you can you can dodge you got this little li living room area you can dodge there too you got this little outdoor area you you can do some dodging here but I wouldn't recommend it because there's only one way in and one way out. I'd say stay around, especially in this map, stay around this little house, like this little living room slash hallway area. Don't go into the bathroom or the basement. You can do some stuff here, but I wouldn't recommend it because if you get caught up on the table or the chairs, like say you're jumping around and you get like stuck somewhere like that you can't your character won't register and if you go back in here there's especially in these two rooms there's only one way in one way out and you can get bagged up into a corner and it's not going to be very good so obviously i did hear a stabbing sound so i'm gonna assume that the murderer is not afk and roaming around freely that person no it's the bacon woman. Bacon girl over here is the murderer. So I'm going to juke her using shift lock, which oh yeah, I'll explain once the round's over with. Okay, I died. Sometimes laggy players can get you from a dif far difference. Depends on the hitbox. So if you want to do use shift lock, you have to be on PC, of course, and just press shift. But in order to enable that, you got to go right here into settings. And then put on shift lock switch. It's normally at the top, but some games don't let you play. Well, not let don't let you play, but let you put it on. So there's that. Okay, and fifth and final tip: stay in open areas. Now I kind of said that in the last tip, but I'm gonna make it an official tip because it is definitely needed. So, obviously, in this map, it's kind of hard to stay in, the, in an open area because there's nothing but hallways. But there's this little area where you can do some parkour and get up here. With my animation pack right now, it's kind of weird to do it, but it's possible. It is definitely possible. And this is actually a very good spot if you're innocent to just sit here and camp. Because you can. there's two entry points where you can see the murderer. And if the murderer can't really get up to you, so they'll have to use a throwing knife. And if you shift lock from the last tip, you can easily evade murderers. So say, if I can stay on it, stay on this little pillar thing. Say the murderer was right here. So, oh, and they were trying to throwing knife me. I could easily evade. I could evade pretty easily. Because I'm up there. And that's also like contestants to its own ship. So, choose your area wisely. I know I said choose your map wisely in the last one. But this one, I'm just going to say it right now. Tip 5, choose your area wisely. Well, your spot, area, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be crucial that you choose the right spot. Now, like staying in open areas. Don't go in vents and stuff. In enclosed areas, make sure there is lots of spots where you can hide or even get out. See right here, say if the murderer comes in through there, they're jumping around throwing knives at me. I don't want to be in there. I don't want to be here. 
So I'm gonna go around over here and get out through there. I think that might be the murderer, so so say. Oh wait, no, he's not the murderer actually. The gun is down because I heard a gunshot and then Oh, I walked right into the murder. See that's where the door that's why you stay in your area and practically just camp there. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys do enjoy it. This is my first video that I'm gonna be actually editing, so let me know your opinions down in the comments below. And also, I'm probably going to be doing egg hunt tutorials pretty soon. So if you're down for that, leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more, obviously. And I'm probably going to do another tips and tricks for sheriff and murderer along the way. So, see you guys in the next video. Catch you all in the next one.